welcome to my pram pillow tutorial. Here you see that I have all the pieces cut out that I need, minus the fluff that's gonna go inside the batting. But the pattern for this you will find in the description. There's a link to it and it's a free pattern. It's something that I made myself, so be kind. Um, you'll have to print it out and put it together and all that sort of thing. What we have are two arms to the pillow, so there's a front and a back for each of those. And then there's kind of a piece that will wrap around the edges. And then we have a back to the pillow and a front to the pillow. So obviously your first step will be to cut your fabric using the free pattern that I have in the description. Once all your pieces are cut, what we're gonna do is we're going to use one arm at a time. And I actually wrote on the back of these because it's dark fabric and it's not gonna go through which piece was which just so it would be easier for me later on. And we're gonna go ahead and just start with the left side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first take the back part of the left piece and the edge and I want to put them right sides together but I want to find out where the middle part of, is of each piece. So I'm gonna just fold it and crease to find the middle piece and then the same thing with this. I'm gonna fold and crease to find the middle piece of this. Once I find the middle piece, again, I'm gonna have the right sides go together. And I am just going to pin with these two lines connecting. Then I want to match up the edge here of the, the edge of the edge with the edge of the back part of the left and I'm going to pin it down. Then I want to do the same thing over here and it's not going to look perfect right now but we're going to work with it and then we are going to pin this down. So here you see that these edges are kind of up and a little crazy at this point but what you're going to do is we're going to grab the scissors and we're going to make just really tiny cuts into the fabric. Nothing very deep, just a very tiny cut. So that way this fabric has a little bit more movement. So here I am just going to just do a little trim. And I'm going to have spaces maybe a little less than a half an inch or so. And so that'll be easier, and it might actually be easier to put a few more pins in the sides so it doesn't move so much on you. And then you'll want to put it in your machine. And of course, you'll want to just sew along the edges, and you just want to do, um, well, I mean, you could do a half inch um, seam line because you you cut on here so that would give you a little bit of flexibility because this might be closer to a quarter of an inch I'm not sure depends on what you do but I think a half inch seam line would be just just fine and then that's going to be sewn all the way around now I've taken that and I've sewn it together and I'm now going to take the other left side and again I'm going to fold it in half to see where the halfway mark is and I'm gonna fold this in half to see where this halfway mark is, and I'm gonna line them up um, again, just as I did the last time. And then I went ahead and I pinned the other side just as I had done the front side, and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew this again with the same seam allowance, but I wanna make sure that I'm very careful not to sew it all the way through to the other side of the fabric. I just wanna sew, sew these two ends together. So here are both sides sewn together. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the right side. I'm going to take the back piece fabric and the connecting strip and I'm going to do the exact same thing to this side. And so I'm going to have two of these when I'm all done. Now as you can see, I have gone ahead and made both of the sides already. And I've turned it out so the right sides are showing. Next what I'm doing is I'm taking one of the sides and I am just matching it up with the opening that we have, but of course on this side. 
and I'm pinning the right sides together. I found the center of this piece and the center of this little space and I pinned that first. Then I took the edge and I went all the way around to where the middle piece of, of, the, of the two ends meets and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So as you can see, there is this middle piece and where it ends here is where this is going to go and I'm gonna pin it down there. So I'm going to pin, I pin the middle first, then I pin the sides and I'm gonna work my way towards the middle pinning. So if you look at the front piece just flipped over, you can see more of how I put the pins in and it's almost like putting in a sleeve, but it's just gonna be the arm of the pillow. So this is pinned all the way around and I'm gonna go ahead and um, attach it together right along here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. And you should notice that when you look at the, the arm, that there's kind of a longer end which goes towards the bottom and the shorter end. And the shorter end goes towards the, the top piece. So here's the bottom. So when I will be attaching it, again, I'll be doing right sides together. I wanna find the middle piece here uh, and, and make a line and then have that go with the middle here so I know exactly where to put it. And this will come all the way to this line and this will come all the way to this line and I'll sew, uh, I'll pin it and then I will sew along there as well. And then I will have um, the two arms attached to the front. Now I have both sides sewn onto the front and now all I have left is to attach the back piece and to put in the fluff batting. Looks like it's coming along quite nicely. Um, when I say it's a beginning sewing project, I've never made one of these before, and it's actually turning out quite well. I had my fingers crossed this whole time, really hoping that it would work out, and it's, it's looking so great. I can't wait to see um, what's gonna happen next. Now, as you can see, I've taken this front piece and I've just gone ahead and folded the arms in. Um, and what I'm going to be doing now is attaching the back piece. I'm going to take the back and I'm going to put right sides together. So here is the back piece that has been pinned to the front piece. And I've now reached the pockets. So I want to be really careful when I'm pinning this because I want to make sure that the back kind of goes all the way down so I might actually pin here first and then again work my way backwards and making sure that um, everything is nice and connected. Same thing as well to this side. I'm gonna start down here first and have it pinned down here at the bottom and work my way backwards. So as you can see, I've pinned it all the way around so the back is now attached to the front and I've made sure that the edges go just a little bit beyond, not very much, but just a very tad bit beyond the edge of the pocket. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to start here and I'm going to sew all the way around and I'm going to stop here. This um, is a big enough space, obviously, for me to turn it out, but I might come in a little here and come in a little bit here and then I'll right side it out. Now I'm all done sewing the back to the front and I've just taken all of my pins out. So again, um, whenever you do any sewing on this project, make sure you backstitch. You sew a little bit, you backstitch, and then you keep going. And that's what I did here. So just a little bit, maybe um, two inches in and then all the way around. And then again, maybe about two inches in and again, backstitch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to flip this out and see just how it looks. Here we have it all flipped out. And again, the bottom is open, so I'm able to stuff it with fluff, and that's gonna be my next job. Um, before I do that, though, I might want to just go 
ahead and do maybe a tap stitch all along here just so that way the top is maybe a little bit sturdier. I think that way instead of it being kind of a round pillow and it, it will be more this shape if I get this top stitch. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that just briefly. As you can see I just did a quick top stitch so that way this it is not so round and um, it'll kind of stop up here and and uh, make more of a back to the pillow instead of I, I, I don't want to have kind of it turning into a, a ball because this is a big open space so I'm hoping that this will allow it to not do that and what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna grab my fiber fill and I'm going to start stuffing the arms first and then I'm gonna work my way outwards. So I've gone ahead and started filling up the pillow. And so you can see that it's taking shape quite nicely. The bottom again is open. That's where I'm putting the, the stuffing. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take a needle and thread. And of course I'm gonna pin it first. And then I'm going to do an invisible stitch all the way down and close it up nice and tightly there. And then the pillow is all done.